It was a battle between the winless, the knee pointers, the shower of shites and paisley. It was St Mirren versus Ross County. Somebody's O has got to go. Maybe even both the O's could go if it was a nil, nil stalemate. Maybe we could get a nil, nil, and then the Noles would go. But fuck it, it was St Mirren who got the win. And I didn't see this coming, guys. Got to be honest here. I thought Ross County would turn up and do the job here in St Mirren. I looked at Ross County in the first two games against Hearts and Celtic. Thought they played pretty well. Well, thought they were unlucky to lose both of those games. Whereas I looked at St Mirren, and yeah, St Mirren dominated Mullerwell, but I mean, we all know Mullerwell are kind of shite, so I wasn't reading too much into that. And against Aberdeen, uh, they weren't great, if we're being honest, with 11 men or 10 men. So coming into this game, I thought this would be an easy win. Well, not an easy win, but I thought Ross County would definitely have enough in the tank to edge it, but I was wrong, and I'll admit that. I mean, I thought Ross County here. Uh, were the better team. I mean, I thought St Mirren here were the better team uh, throughout the game and, and easily d deserved the win. Like, I mean, I think Ross County were a little bit lucky that the game didn't get beyond them. I mean, I thought 1-0 could have... I thought 1-0 flattered them a wee bit. Let's, be, let's put it like that. I thought St Mirren could have, you know, won this game by a few goals. First half, not a lot happened, but it was St Mirren creating the best opportunities. Um, they had a shot that cracked off the post, which... Was unlucky not to go in. And uh, second half, you know, started up again. All St Mirren. Ball is in the box. Like, the Ross County defenders are scrambling to clear it. The St Mirren players are scrambling to try and get it towards goal. And the ball ends up, like, just coming out of the box. Like, it ping-ponged in the box and just, like, rolled outside the box. And you've got Richard Tate standing there. And you're probably thinking, well... What's he going to do? Richard Tate never scores a fucking goal. Well, he, com he completely puts it in the top bins here. He like, just sidesteps it. Like, oh, man, it's a, it's a quality it's goal of the week for sure. I mean, it's a quality goal. He just uh, inside his foot and he just, oh, man, places it into the top-hand corner. You couldn't have struck this any better. I mean, it must have just went in and whistled off both the post and both the crossbar, man. It was right in the fucking corner. Keeper, no chance. Keeper could be fucking a Spider-Man with eight legs and he's no saving this, I'm telling you. Gloves on all of his legs. It wouldn't matter. He could fucking be a spider and have sex with an octopus and have 16 fucking legs, right? You're no saving this. This is unsavable. And it was a great goal for Richard Tate. Didn't expect Richard Tate to be the guy to be the difference between both teams today. But he was. And it was, a, it was a great goal. And it was a goal certainly deserving of winning any game. And especially, you know, getting your team your first three points of the season. If I'm being honest, it was still St Mirren coming forward. Looking like they could get a second goal. Uh, Ross County's best chance came from a deflected strike from... Uh, Oh, uh, it came off Oberly and Trevor Carson managed to pull off a pretty impressive late reflex save. And I thought Trevor Carson was really, really poor against Aberdeen. But no, I mean, when his team needed him, he stepped up here. Because let's be real, he didn't have a lot to do today. He had pretty much had nothing to do today, but he got called upon late. And the, the, the reflex save that he made was very good. But that's all Ross County really mustered up. And Malky Mackay spoke at the end of the game about how the heat affected the game and that it slowed the pace down. But you've got to remember here, the heat was the exact same for St Mirren as it was for Ross County. I mean, you could make an, an argument that Ross County are higher up the map. So they're, not, they're used to colder conditions in St Mirren who are in Paisley. But... I mean, are we really going to clutch at straws here? I just think Ross County weren't good enough today. Um, no excuses about the heat. St Mirren were the better team. St Mirren deserved to win and St Mirren did get the win. And now this leaves Ross County as the only team so far. I know it's early days. There's no need to panic. We all know where they were last season, you know, 10 games without a win. But they're the only team not to get a point on the board so far. And uh, I think that's going to have to change for them relatively quickly because you, the longer you go, you know, the tougher it's going to be. And I get it. Yeah, last season, Nay wins after the first 10 games. But... You, you don't want to be putting yourself in that situation every single season where you're playing catch-up. You know, Ross County will not want to, you know, go 10 games for a win this season. I'm not saying they're going to because I can see them picking up. If they play the way they played against Hearts and Celtic in spells, then I can definitely see them picking up wins against, uh, you know, a lot of the bottom teams and mid-table teams in the, uh, the Premiership. But yeah, they will be looking to try and get off the mark as quickly as possible. Personally, I thought that was going to come today, but it didn't. It was St Mirren, and uh, St Mirren totally deserved it. So it eases a bit of pressure as well on Stephen Robinson. I don't think... I don't think Malky Mackay's under any pressure. I mean, unless he drops a couple of N-bombs, then, 
you know, he, his team's um, got quite a high percentage of black players in there as well, so he's probably going to be in a lot of trouble if he drops any end bombs But in terms of results, in terms of performances, I, I don't think Malky McKay is under pressure, unlike a few managers in the league. I look at managers under pressure, and I, I think Stephen Robinson was definitely one. I think Jim Goodwin's under some pressure as well. And based on what we've seen the other night, <laughs> maybe in, in what could happen tomorrow, maybe... Jack Ross could be under some pressure soon, but I think Malky McKay will be okay, and I do expect Ross County to pick up a win relatively soon. I'm not sure who they play next, but I think it's only a matter of time for Ross County to start moving up the uh, the league table. Anyway, guys, that is it. That's all we've got here today. I mean, like I said, it wasn't a fantastic game. There wasn't a lot of chances, but from what did happen, I thought St Mirren had the better of it, and I thought St Mirren definitely deserved to win. And the goal for Tate was, was worthy of winning any game, if we're being completely honest. What a goal. And it's probably the best goal Richard Tate's ever scored in his career, and I don't think he'll score one better than that. So, yep, guys, there you go. Fog Fitbit match review, St Mirren 1, Ross County now. We'll catch you in the next one. Leave your thoughts and opinions down below. Make sure to subscribe, make sure to like, and I'll see you later. Until then, peace.